Okay. So what you do here first, let me step in there. <clears throat> Find your distance. Now, I've, I've marked the inside edge of these posts red because I've told people to step toward the post and they step toward the outer edge and then, then they go wide. I've shot another video that shows the floor really well, but there are lines on the floor. So first you turn and face that post and you want to step toward the red. You, you want to look down. There's a, a, this red line is at the four, dummy's 45 degrees. You want to step and get two-thirds of your foot over it. And then this leg, you want to circle. You don't want to sweep. Obviously, that's a good drill. And this dummy leg actually allows you to sweep completely through. If I were to face the dummy straight on on its 45, my leg would be several inches from the dummy's leg. But I want to sweep it out. Ultimately, you're going to be hitting it somehow, but right now you're just practicing the footwork. Then pull this foot out, face back to your original starting position. And when you step back, you'll feel these inside muscles pulling together. The reason I came up with this drill is so many people, including myself way back until I noticed the problem, would step back like that. The camera's roll. And of course, if the dummy had the presence of mind, he could lift that leg and cause me problems. So, so again, I face this direction. You want to look him in the eye, circle step this leg. So go ahead and step up. Check your distance with your hands. Yeah. Now face this way. Put your put your hands here so you look cool. There you go. And lift your chin. Now look down and you want two thirds of your foot over that line. And you want to step toward and what it feels like you're gonna run into those arms. But watch what happens. Go ahead, step and circle that back leg. You pirouette right around them. More so in a week. And then pull this foot back so your your ankle's next to the dummy's ankle. Sink down a little bit. Now your knee's next to the dummy's knee. Now, don't step, but pull your foot out and turn your, turn your whole body. Turn that back foot. Turn the back, there you go. And now you're going to put this foot, this is where you want to end up, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of a long step. Up there. Good, now see how those upper arms seem to get in the way? Yeah. So go ahead and get back in position and turn a little more. Now the reason is you were looking down and that rolls everything forward. L look where you're gonna put your foot, then look him in the eye and take the step. Look him in the eye and just take the step. And it's less a problem. And again, even less next week. So shift and face that red mark. Look where you're gonna put your foot, but look him in the eye before you take your step so that your shoulders and head aren't rolling forward. And this takes some getting used to, but you get to where you can maneuver around this thing. Because the, the patterns over there, we have patterns on the floor for over the there. Big circles, for the circles, right? The we do the circle step, and then there's the, um, the um, X pattern with the, the, the black X pattern with the red X's cutting the 45. And there are several drills you do on that. But ultimately, you want to get to where and then later you'll add a bow pie. And then you'll add, after the bow pie, a couple of kicks. And then you'll add bong sao. But you got to get comfortable with the basic movement. Okay. So go ahead and shift. Look where you're going to, don't, don't, don't step. 
look where you're going to put your foot. Yeah, look at this. Well, well look at where you're going to put your foot first. Okay. Look in the direction you're going to step, and then look him in the eye and take the step. And turn your hips a little more. Good. Then pull your foot. Now, hold it right there. Put your, yeah. Look down at that red line. It's a little off to the, your center is a little off to the right. Where does the red line need to be like there? Make it your center line. And I would say, see how much your foot's over the black line? Let, let me do it once here. Please. See, I'm an inch behind the black line. You were four inches over it. All right. So maybe you're the rare person that actually steps towards the red mark. Maybe, maybe step towards this edge of the post. So shift. Look at your direction. Okay. Now, now, bring your foot there. Try that. Okay. Yeah. Good. How's that feel? Okay. And then, no, stay there. Go back. Just move your left foot an inch or so in that direction. How's that feel? Like I'm in my regular stance. Okay. See where the red line is? Yeah. It, it, I can't see it. But it's it, got to cut me in half. It's, it's right down your center. Okay. So you want to step a little further when you do that. Okay. So pull your foot out. Pull your, turn your hips. Turn your back foot. Turn your back foot. So you want to turn even more. Because you see, you're, you're, you want to be aimed towards this spot. Then that's where you're going to put your right foot. Look him in the eye and take that step. Kind of a long step. And probably a little longer than you did because you had to move your feet apart. Yeah. And this just takes some getting used to. And the next one is turn. Okay. Look uh, at the red mark. Or let's go with the center of the post. Okay. And look where you're going to step and then look him in the eye and take, take a little longer step than you did before. Almost. Yeah. And you were too far over the black line and too far this way on the red line. So. Okay. So when you take this step, have a little space between your foot because you're going to pivot and your toe's going to cross it. So have a little space between your foot and the black line and try to end up so this red line is more your center line. Okay. You can see how far to the side my foot is. So go ahead and keep practicing that.